Oh, hey, look, he's making a new Bees and Guns game. We need to talk about Bees and Guns, Swift. No. Let me just start by saying a lot has changed since that clip. We've now got four characters, each of which have their own custom ability. This is Beasley. He's got the BSMG, three hearts, normal speed, and a special called backup. What his special does is it calls a friendly bee over to help fight, and he just basically copies whatever you do. This is Naranja. Her weapon is the King's Shotgun. She has two hearts, speed is high, and her special ability is called Roost Shells. This is Dragonado. I'm not entirely sure on the name, so if you have ideas, please put them in the comments, because I will likely change this name. His weapon's the Fire Dragon. He has four hearts, but he is slow. And his special ability is called Afterburner. This is Spark. His weapon's a railgun called the Nightlight. He has one heart, but then again, you have a railgun, so... Railgun. Anyways, his speed is extremely high, and his special ability is called Discharge. So, a uh, funny story about the design of the railgun. Some of you might have noticed that it highly resembles the railgun from GTA. That is on complete accident. I literally just looked up handheld railgun, found one that looked cool, and sort of pixelated it for the game. I've never played a GTA, so I did not notice this until I was making this video. So, anyways, carry on. I really don't feel like recording all of the utility abilities, so I'm just going to click through the menu, because each one has descriptions which I feel like are fairly obvious. As of right now, there are four enemies. The first one is just basic and runs towards you. The second one is fast and shoots lightning whenever it dies and occasionally just does it. The third one is just a beefier version of the first one, and the fourth one leaves a fire trail. All of the enemies have three AI modes. The first one is just run straight at you. The second one is run away. The third one is they try to... Find a certain distance around you and then just circle you. So, yeah. There are two more things I want to tell you before I wrap this video up. First off, there's Eternal Nightfall mode where difficulty is doubled. Both spawn rates and the rate spawn rate increases is doubled, so you'll have a whole bunch more enemies to kill. And since I'm posting this on Game Jewel instead of Itch, I will be able to have a scoreboard and leaderboard, which are both fully functional as of now. That's all for the video. If you want to try the early access version of the game, you can check out the Game Jewel page's link in the description and 
I have a HTML version there, so you can give feedback, try it out early before I'm fully finished with it. I have music planned, and you may notice that there are now loading screens. I believe on Game Jolt in the comments section you can still post images. I, I'll double check that, but basically you can simply post a loading screen that you drew there, and if it's any good, I will likely add it to the game. So, yeah, feel free to credit yourself in the corner of your art. I won't edit it out unless I ask you about something specific, but chances are that won't happen. And yeah, subscribe.